guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video so as you can tell by the title of this video this is my stockpile tour video now i did have one in uh january of 2019 that i did upload for you guys uh, excuse me but i do want to thank spending and saving makita for inspiring me to do this video um i have been getting a lot of questions about you guys wanting to see my stockpile so i'm going to share with you guys today so um my first talk about video um there were a lot of things that were different i did not have that many things i also did not have that much space and so now that i'm in a new location well my husband and i are in a new location and we have a bit of more space um i'm gonna share it with you guys so i am in my guest room right now um and most of my stockpile is in i'm not gonna say most half of it is in my guest closet because i needed somewhere to put this stuff and then i'll have like three other places that i want to show you guys um where i have some of my stockpile items as well so if you have not seen my first stockpile video go ahead watch it um maybe you can find some ideas as to how you can organize your stockpile in a smaller place and so most of the bands that i use in my first video i do still use now so um yeah i'm just gonna share with you guys my stockpile how i organize it and how much stuff i have so let's get into it okay guys so this is uh the guest room closet where i have like half of my stockpile so um i'm gonna show you guys everything that i have in here and how i organize um uh, which is not too much different from my first stockpile video but here is my printer um i have it tucked away in here because i don't want it in the way so we'll start up here um this is where i have pampers and wipes and stuff right here um, most of this right here is overflow because the rest of my detergent is in my washroom, but um, I can't fit any more on the shelf in there. So I just bring it in here to um, still keep it organized. So you see some again, Tide and Donnie uh, fabric softener as well up there. Um, I do have these pampers right here because they keep falling up there. Uh, it just fell on my head a second ago. So I'm going to keep them right there. So in this van, um, this is very old. As you can see, it got kind of smushed in between moving. Um, so these are from Dollar Tree, if you did not know. Um, so I have like a bunch of tissue in here. Tissue and wipes mainly. These are from Dollar Tree. And I have some more wipes down there. Some with Eve and all of that. Some working next tissue right here. So that's what's in here, mainly tissue and wipes and things like that. And the next band is where I have um, all of these Febreze, I mean, not Febreze, um, snuggle refills and Febreze plugs and Glade plugs. Now these um, are supposed to go in there. And you guys, I do use this closet as storage in some way as well. Um, so those go in there but it's so high i cannot reach it so um i have to ask my husband to put those up there when i can remember to ask him so um let me show you guys what else i have in here so it's it's really nothing special <laughs> um i just throw some things in here but uh yeah i have some loose gloves right here Dama puns, uh, Lysol toilet bowl cleaners, lotion, the mouthwash. What is this? Hand soap. And yeah, some Nivea shave gel. And these razors are in here because these are the only razors that I use right here. I do not use any other razors. Um, I do donate the other ones. I only use this one. This is the only one that seems to work for me. So, um, yeah. I like using those and they're very um, soft on my skin. So, I'm going to put these back in here. Um, so, over here is where I have some more detergent that can't fit up here. So, I just leave it right here. And I do have some soft scrub right here and a Windex. So, let's move on to the next shelf right here which is um, nothing is really set in order like I don't know how to describe it but <laughs> I have some snuggle some Arm & Hammer and wash scent boosters some mouthwash back there I do not have a lot of mouthwash um, some fabuloso some, uh, dish detergent um, some more mouthwash back there three of these downy wrinkle releasers and some Lysol wipes back here Right here is my Airwig Ajax that I got from CVS, some Febreze, 
refills and all of that and some Priscilla disc right there which I love those things so down here is kind of the same way that it was in my first uh, stockpile video um so in this bin that is all smushed as well it's a bunch of makeup like this is all things beauty related in here everything is makeup in there um sorry if you keep going it keeps going in and out I don't know why Okay, so in this bin, um, in this bin is um, deodorant and shave gel, I guess. So everything in here is supposed to be deodorant, but it's I don't have that much deodorant. So in this bin, I'm not gonna really touch, but because it it always overflows on me. So um, in here is toothbrushes, uh, toothpaste. Yeah, toothbrushes and toothpaste. You can kind of see down there. It's a lot. I just got rid of a lot of toothpaste and. You know, just to get it right back. So that's what's in that bin. And this bag right here, um, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't remember. Um, a lot of times I do bag up things because I do give stuff away, but I don't know, I don't remember <laughs> why that's like that. So in this bag right here, this is all of my Tide Pods, and they're like smushed down in there. I wish I could show them to you guys, but it's probably about. 20 bags in here and all of these are going to my sister because she uses them i do not use pods packs uh any of that ever because i don't really like them but i do like my Priscilla disc so i use Priscilla disc and detergent most of the time in this bin um is most of now in my first stockpile video this bin i call my donation bin so um it's mostly liners, pads, um, shampoo that I just throw in here as well, and razors. So that's mostly what's in here. Shave gel. Apps. <laughs> and shampoo down there. And yeah, mostly all the things that I just said. So um, yeah, that's what's in this bin. We close it and we're going to move on to um, the washroom where um the rest of my detergent is and so yeah guys that's it for this closet we're gonna move on to the next all right so in here is where i wash our clothes of course so um up here is where the rest of my detergent is stored um i do have some swiffers because i love using these um my trash bags that i'm using currently so like i said i do have my detergent up there and bring it down here is where i have most of my paper products and it does go all the way down to the floor move my vacuum cleaner out the way i do have a pack of scott tissue down there you see it's all the way at the bottom because that scott tissue is very harsh and i really don't like it so that's why it's all the way down there at the bottom um so yeah most of this side is my paper towels and i do have paper towels in this basket as well because my husband he just opens up things so we have like three things of paper towels that are in use so yeah that's that so we're gonna move on to this side now this side is in this basket is where i put all the things that we are currently using so we just grabbed out this basket and you know wash our clothes um these aren't open but these will be given to my sister as well. And back here you see my tissue. And it goes down, down, down. You see my Clorox bleach right there. Um, some Febreze that I use and some trash bags that I'm using currently. So up here is where I have some more of my, um, well, is where I have my fabric sheet. So that's, is that Bounty? Bounty and Gain. Um, some Suave Tail from Walgreens. Some Purex Crystals. And over here, I'm running out of room, as you can see. Some gain, fabric softener, some Clorox bleach. Again, Suave Till. More, most of this over here is fabric softener. So, um, Downy, Gain, Suave Till. Yeah, all of that over there. So, um, that's it for this closet. Um, this is where all of my paper products are. So, um, we're going to move on to the next area. Okay, so in this cabinet, this is a cabinet in... 
of my kitchen and this is where I put uh, most of my toilet bowl cleaners and um, bathroom sprays like that and some scrubbing bubbles let me cut on this light so you guys can kind of see I'm using my phone light <laughs> um, phone light for this so you guys can see what's down in here and up on the top shelf is where I have um, most of my hand washes and I have some pine saw back there as well that you probably can't really see but yeah that's what's in there and i do have one more spot that i want to share with you guys that i store some of my stockpile items okay so this is my linen closet inside of my bathroom so over here i have some dove hand wash some nivea lotion back there uh bath and body works uh hand soap some love some love beauty and planet my nivea that i use that's the only face um cleansing that i use um i had in shoulders because i use that's the only shampoo and conditioner that i use and uh some crest mouthwash some shaving gel and down here is where um this is this is the only body wash that i have like i don't keep a lot of body wash at all so i have some olay some dove right here dove men so like this side is mine and this side is my husband's mine is the Nivea because he doesn't like Nivea but um he does love Irish wing and dove so um yeah this is the only body wash that I have in my stockpile I do not keep a lot of body wash so, so yeah guys that's it so I um did almost forget this section this is where um most of my um, dish detergent is I don't have that much um, I am in my pantry so um, yeah all of that is my dish detergent so yeah guys that is my stockpile stockpile video how I store um, all of my items and um, yeah how I keep it organized so I hope you guys were able to get uh, some ideas as to how you can uh, possibly organize your stockpile um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one Bye.